what's good everyone it is b avery here and i want to thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of just my opinion i really do appreciate it and we are here again another week for the worldwide box office results actually not just worldwide you got you can do worldwide domestic international all that good stuff but we're here talking about the box office uh for this past weekend for today monday not today for yesterday monday uh today tuesday and uh, most notably for Black Panther, this is the sixth weekend in uh, the theaters. And I am super duper excited about that. The film directed by Ryan Coogler, Black Panther, was uh, top uh, number one at the box office for the first five weeks in a row. But now that we are at number six, of course, we knew that this time was coming. Uh, it was inevitable and that is OK. But Black Panther is no longer at number one. It is at number two, but that's OK that it, that it is not number one anymore. What is taking the number one spot is Pacific Rim. Um, the sequel to the 2013 film directed by Guillermo del Toro, which some people call pa uh, uh, a souped up version of Power Rangers. And I did enjoy the first Pacific Rim just a little bit. Have it right here on a uh, Blu-ray 3D, um, even though I don't have a 3D TV anymore. Um, I have a decent TV, a nice TV, but it doesn't I don't have a 3D TV anymore, so I can't even watch it on 3D. Um, this but the sequel I was very disappointed about. If you want to go check out my review, it is up on my channel. I believe it was uh, one of the last videos that I uploaded that kind that came in at uh, number one uh, expected. Uh, the what it what did it come in at? Where does it say? The weekend for Pacific Rim was twenty eight million one hundred sixteen thousand five hundred thirty five dollars off of a one hundred and fifty million dollar production budget. Keyword production budget, which does not include marketing. Uh, the first Pacific Rim did a, the budget was one hundred and ninety million and ended up making I think around uh, four hundred million barely uh, worldwide. Uh, most notable. Uh, most due to China coming through at the very last minute, because if uh, China didn't come through for that film, it would have did horrible. I mean, it already did horrible. Yeah, the budget was one hundred and ninety million. It made four hundred and eleven thousand, uh, not four hundred eleven thousand, four hundred and eleven million uh, worldwide. And what was the box office for uh, China for the first film? One hundred and eleven million dollars. And here in the United States, it only made one hundred and one million dollars. So it made more in China than it did over here in the United States. But Pacific Rim came in at number uh, Pacific Rim two or Pacific Rim Uprising came in at number one, uh, which finally dethroned Black Panther uh, from the top uh, box office uh, receipts uh, for a six weekend in a row. Um, next after that, you have Black Panther which came in for the weekend at another great whopping $17,099,618. It only dropped 35%, which is freaking fantastic, guys, because, because so the first three-day weekend, not for the three-day three weekend, we had 202 million, it dropped 44%, then it dropped 40%, then a uh, week was at week four, it dropped 38%, then 34%, then 35%. So if it keeps doing these, uh, you know, 35% and things like that, off the top of my head, I'm just going to say that that's like, uh, uh, it's going to make another $10 million next week. But hold on, let me, let me do my math real quick while I got y'all. Because y'all, 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 I mean, we, we good here, you know, the people that like my channel. Y'all don't mind waiting uh, just a little bit. 35%. Uh, oh, okay. So, yeah, about $10, 11000000 million. Um, 5.9 million is the figure that I came up with. If you take 35% off, so 5.9 million rounded up to six, six million, six million times 17 million is $11 million. So next weekend it will be making a, hopefully I, I, there's no guarantees, uh, but hopefully it will be making, uh, you know, another 10 or $11 million, but we don't know because, uh, ready player one, the film that has to do with, um, uh, Steven Spielberg that was based off of a book which is one of my most anticipated films of 2018 and I'll talk about my most anticipated films in a little bit after uh, we talk about the box office but I don't know how it's going to do uh, with Ready Player One uh, opening up now I don't I haven't seen the film um, I had an opera no I did not have don't lie Brandon I did not have an opportunity to see it last week but I'm recording this video right now as of Tuesday Tuesday night I just got off work um you know, I got on my work clothes. I would have 
uh, shot this video last night. But as if you guys paid attention to a few of my other videos, uh, my, I've been having some serious computer issues and haven't been able to upload videos, export them, download things, etc. Uh, and I got my computer back yesterday, like right around 9 p.m. And I was just super tired, to be honest with you. I said, I'll just do this tomorrow. Uh, so what was the point of me even bringing it up? Oh, yeah. So Tuesday night, um, there is a screening for Ready Player One tonight. But I cannot go because I have to be somewhere else that is just far more important uh, to me. And I cannot miss it. I cannot reschedule. But Ready Player One opens up this Friday. So I don't know if Black Panther is going to drop another 30 percent, 35, 40, 50 percent. But we're going to count on uh, that. It's, it's not going to uh, drop that much. I want I, I, it definitely somebody in my comment section and I haven't responded to comments in a while too, either, guys. And I promise I'm going to respond to them all. But somebody in my comment section, I can't really remember if it was on my wrinkle of time. It, it may have been on my lap by Black Panther week five uh, video. But someone was like, I want Black Panther to stay in the top 10 all the way to infinity war oh, definitely 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 i would be super surprised um if that does not happen right now what i'm trying to look at is uh what is opening up in theaters this week uh, ready player one we just talked about that tyler perry's acrimony i will be checking that out with taraji p henson uh taraji p henson had the horrible film that came out in january proud mary uh, she was executive producer on that film is it really it's unfortunate because, you know, I want my people. Everybody wants their people to do good. I want my people to do good as well. Uh, I mean, I want everybody to do good, but I especially want my people to do good. Uh, and I, I'm talking about black people. Uh, so it really pained me to say that, you know, wrinkling time is not doing that well. Uh, neither. Uh, neither did that proud Mary, but acrimony and um uh, ready player one is opening this weekend um god's not dead is this the second or the third one probably the third one uh that's a limited release does that when does that amy schumann movie come out okay well these are the only two is that is that really it only one major blockbuster this uh weekend so um yeah i'm really not worried about black Panther at all if acrimony and ready player one is the only thing opening i mean god's not dead i don't what is this finding your feet that's a limited release uh I, I, this is opening only in new york and la that's a limited limited okay well guys so i guess this week we only have ready player one and acrimony so that's good so uh pacific rim uprising at number two a wrinkle in time and number three Man, so I'm getting this information, guys, on Box Office Mojo, and I'm just not realizing that if you don't come in here where they, when they have the weekend stuff ready, they take that little thing away. But I can still look at this a different way. Um, I Only Imagine came in at number three, a faith-based film, which I did not see, but I plan on seeing it. Uh, faith-based faith films are not usually that good. Uh, I am a man of God myself. If you are not, we can still be friends. The, you know, no judgment. Uh, but the films are usually just not that good. Also, if you notice that my mic is switched around, um, I don't know if one of my commenters was trolling me. If you were trolling me, I don't appreciate that. Uh, but if you were just giving me great advice, I do appreciate it. But he would just say, Hey B, he called out my mic and was like, Hey, I know what type of mic you got. I got the exact same mic. You have it turned around up, you know, backwards. So I don't really have ch a chance to test it and stuff like that. But my levels over here are looking pretty good. So if this looks silly, that that's why. But anyway, coming in at number four was, um, actually, I don't even know if this is, um, uh, Hmm. Actually, guys, give me one second, because I don't like, I just learned something new, that if you're going to, because in my last, God, where is the, I can't, if y'all haven't noticed, I'm extremely blind, even though I have on glasses, and if you're probably saying, well, Brandon, if you have on glasses, you're still squinting and stuff, don't you think you should get more glasses, don't you think you need a new prescription, uh, it's more complicated than that. It is much more complicated than that. And I will tell you guys that um, story another time. What I'm looking for, I'm going to my one of my other go to sites 
just to look at this chart that they have up real quick. And if it takes me too long to find it, I'm just going to say screw it and keep on going and freestyle this thing. Because with, ah, oh, here we are. I think this is it. Okay. Yep. So coming in at number four is uh, Sherlock Gnomes. Um, I did not see that. Didn't care to see it. Coming in at number five is Tomb Raider. Uh, where is now at $41 million uh, worldwide. Uh, no, not, not worldwide. Domestically, excuse me. But now it's at $42 million. It's by Warner Brothers. Uh, well, how's that doing so far? The budget was $94 million and it's made $212 million so far. So that's not that bad. I don't know what the marketing budget was for Tomb Raider. If you do know, please... Uh, Please leave a comment or a link. Well, don't leave a link because your comment, they may think it's a spam or something like that. But uh, it only, you know, if it gets to about $300 million, we could possibly, possibly see a sequel. We probably may see a sequel like this. But with this only being its the second week in theaters, it's not, I mean, I'm not saying it's making a lot of money, but it's not losing money right now. It's, it's doing okay. Um, I thought the movie was all right. You can go, you can subscribe to my channel and check out my review for that as well. Um, if you want to, but I know y'all like B, I don't care about all these other movies. Talk about Black Panther. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get to it. Uh, A Wrinkle in Time. Um, that, that came in at number six. Um, it is not doing good. Unfortunately, the budget for that was 109, no, 103 million. Right now, worldwide, it is sitting. God, dog, it is sitting at eighty-nine million dollars worldwide. Where is the foreign money? Where is? I mean, now I heard a little rumor talking about how um, they're pulling a wrinkle in time from other countries, and I, when I looked at the release date for all the other films, not all the other films, for all the other countries for wrinkle in time, I know it was split. Like, like, okay, so it opened in. Of course, United, United States, February 26th, uh, March 8th, it opened. OK, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 more countries. Then you had a whole bunch of other countries opening on the 14th of March, March 22nd, March 29th, April 5th, April 12th. So it got a lot of other territories that it's still supposed to be opening in. Um, but golly, has it opened in China yet? Everybody can always go to China. I mean, Ava DuVernay, you, you, my girl, you're very uh, professional, very classy, very good director, but you're a wrinkle in time. Somebody in my comments like they should have named the movie a waste of time. I was like, I can, that was mean, but I came, uh, I cannot lie, I did laugh. But a wrinkle in time is not doing well, guys, and I paid for it. I didn't go to no screening to go see it. Uh, I pay for it, but my goodness, I mean, as good as Black Panther's doing, it, it ha it's making up for a, a wrinkle in time. So, you know, all films can't be winners, unfortunately. But what I'm, hold on, let me, let me, before I get into my geeking out, let me see what Brad Breverett had to say on um, Box Office Mojo. It had, uh, it had to happen at some point, and this was the weekend that saw Black Panther Street number one film of the weekend box office come to an end at the hands of Pacific Rim Uprising. That being said, it, was, it wasn't it was a down weekend for Black Panther as it also became the highest grossing superhero film of all time. I'm not finna read his name word for while. What am I talking about? I'm finna do this myself. But, yeah, so Black Panther, best superhero movie of all time domestically 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 all time yes sir yes ma'am all that good stuff coming in at a whopping 633 million dollars 177,452 dollars as of right now that is what's up baby i am so happy to hear and see all that top 2018 movies right now is Black Panther. Like I said, this is domestic 633. The next one is Peter Rabbit 107. Ain't nothing coming close to that. There's no no even point to read all that. It's still the beginning of the year, first quarter of the year. So, of course, no other big blockbusters have come out. Let's look at the worldwide 2018 grosses. Uh, Black Panther, $1.241 billion. Operation Red Sea in China, 552. And Detective China... Detective Chinatown 2 at 531. Uh 531.9. I 
I haven't even heard of uh, Fifty Shades Freed and all that that comes in after that. You know, ain't nobody coming close uh, until we get to uh, Infinity War. But what I am most, most happy about, where is it? I already got it pulled up. Oh, I closed it on accident. That's okay. I can go back because Black Panther is kicking all kinds of ace. All kinds of ace. Uh, so, Black Panther, like I said, best superhero movie of all time. Uh, when it, okay, well, I'm sorry. When it comes to uh, the domestic box office, it's 6:33. It surpassed the Avengers. Uh, no, the Avengers is 623 million. Black Panther is 10 million dollars over that. Literally, almost exactly. It's like 9.5 or 9.7 to be exact, but whatever. 633 million dollars over that. Uh, Age of Ultron is not even close at 459. Now, uh, adjusting for inflation, uh, Marvel's The Avengers is 7 to 5, but we can't adjust for inflation when the film is still in theaters. And what we got here? Worldwide. So, already Black Panther is winning right now um, as the largest superhero film of all time domestically. Um, international, no, worldwide, Black Panther has surpassed, it, it surpassed the Avengers domestically. It has surpassed Captain America the Civil War. It has surpassed Iron Man 3. And it did this on Saturday. And again, this is Tuesday. Iron Man 3 is at 1.1 uh, 1, Black Panther is at 1.1 1, Like, man, hold up. This is the first, this is the first solo film making 1.2 billion dollars in this uh in his debut first solo film iron man one couldn't do it captain america one couldn't do it captain america two iron man two couldn't do it captain america three and iron man three they was able to get to a billion but this is the first solo film and it's surpassing iron man three that is that's like freaking amazing the only superhero films that have ever surpassed black panther uh are marvel's the avengers and age of ultron Internationally, I said I remember saying this back in uh, my week five video for Black Panther. Can't nobody say that black predominantly black films and black films do not uh, do well internationally. I remember I, I was watching a interview with Tariq Nasheed a couple of weeks ago on uh, because he has like thirty nine different channels on his ISM radio show. He was interviewing Michael J. White. And Michael J. White, uh, I, I, y'all gotta know who Michael J. White. Bring Michael J. White to the MCU, man. That's what's up. Bring what what role can Michael J. White play? Damn, I don't know. He, well, I'm gonna be talking about bring him in. I don't even know what he can play. I don't want him to be a villain. But uh, I mean, we got some uh, martial arts stuff coming up with uh, in the MCU probably in five to ten years. Shang Chi, give him. I don't know. Um, but that's an Asian character. Uh, but anyway, Tariq Nasheed was interviewing Michael J. White, and Michael J. White was talking about how Wesley Snipes used to give Michael J. White advice, talking about, "Hey man, if you got a film that's playing over there, and they won't, you know, pay the money to, you know, go, for you to go over there and promote your own film, do it yourself. Don't believe the lie that." Um, you know, black films don't sell over there. Western types are telling Michael Jai White that a lot of um, uh, his films do sell well over there. So don't ignore that market. So nobody can say that anymore because as of now, Black Panther has grossed over six hundred million dollars internationally. I mean, it just has six six oh six hundred seven million nine hundred thousand to be exact. Uh, out of man, where is the hell I? Oh, I got, Lord, God, give me some more eyes. I don't even, I don't know where the cursor is on my, I can't do nothing. It's, okay. Excuse me, guys. Let me move this over here. Okay, I found the cursor. God, dog, that was sloppy. Excuse me, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, Let's see what it did. In Look, right now in China, it is sitting at $103 million. Um, so I heard that in the second weekend, the box office dropped 88% for China. I don't know. It's doing well in other territories. The second biggest territory is right now the United Kingdom, uh, 59 million. South Korea, 42 million. Mexico, 26. France, 28. 
and Brazil 32, Australia uh, 28. So it's doing great over there. Out of the all 18 MCU films, um, only what we got here. We got. Oh, let me scroll down here. So the number one internationally is Age of Ultron at 946 million. And then the Avengers at 895. This is only international. Um, and then we have Iron Man 3 at 805 and Captain America Civil War at 745. So out of the 18 MCU films, Black Panther is number five internationally um, at 600 million. It's not going to catch Captain America Civil War. Uh, I, I'll be surprised. It may make 650 internationally, but all the other films, guys, they 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 at the 400 million dollar mark, 500 million dollar mark, and Black Panther has surpassed that. You know what I'm saying? And so you know you got 607 plus six was it 41, 33 or something like that. You get that 1.24 million dollars. So it's doing hell of a great. It's doing hell of a great. It's doing hell of a great internationally. Just internationally, it's doing great domestically. It's doing great overall. Like I'm just so. Um, I'm just so freaking excited to, you know, see all this. I mean, just, you know, all the blackness is just doing so fantastic in the world of Marvel and uh, and movies worldwide. I mean, one point two four one billion dollars. So let me get over to. Oh, yeah, I'm tripping. I know I was leaving us something. I got to do my showdown uh, comparison. I got it pulled up right here. Uh, yeah, I'll leave my prediction for last. So, as you know, I always go to box office mojo. I scroll down to the showdowns and I'm going to the opening week. I'm not going to do the MCU top openers because Black Panther's already kicking ace in all those categories. But opening weekend showdown where we compare Star Wars The Force Awakens, Jurassic World, Marvel The Avengers, Star Wars The Last Jedi, and Black Panther. The reason why I'm comparing these is because, like the showdown says, it's the opening weekend showdown. These are the best opening weekends um, of all time. Um, so, when I go over to the weekend, Black Panther beat all five of these films. In this uh, Black Panther's fifth weekend, it did twenty six million. The number two contender was, excuse me, The Force Awakens at twenty six million. Week six, Black Panther won again at seventeen million. It was well, no, no, almost eighteen million. Seventeen million ninety nine thousand. Next, second place came in at fourteen million dollars. Uh, which is The Force Awakens. Uh, the Last Jedi did 6.5. Marvel's The Avengers did 11.2. Uh, Jurassic World did 11.4. So Black Panther's kicking butt on the weekends. Let's look at the weeks, the weekly box office. All right, it ain't winning there. <laughs> it won week four. Uh, it did not win week five and week six has not come out yet because it's, it's doing the weekly. But the most important thing on the showdown thing to me is the daily box office, because this really does give me a strong indicator. And this is domestic as far as where Black Panther will end up domestically. Right now, Black Panther is at 633. Right. Actually, before I say that, uh, let me count this real quick. Oh, did I lose the cursor again? God, dog. This is stupid. I need new eyeballs. Oh my goodness gracious. Is the battery going dead in my mouse? Is that what's going on? Okay. Damn. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. If you compare all the films, The Force Awakens, Jurassic World, The Avengers, The Last Jedi, and Black Panther, out of the past seven days, Black Panther has won six out of the past seven days on those films. Um, like, so Monday, yesterday, was the film Black Panther's 39th day in release. So if you count days 33 to 39, Black Panther beat all five of those films day to day. So if that doesn't make sense, like, you know, on the 33rd day of release for all five of these films, Black Panther won at $2.8 million. It, it made more than everybody else. On his 39th day, which was yesterday, Black Panther made Monday made 1.89. Second place came in at uh, the Avengers at 1.385 and 1.372 for Jurassic World and 1.295 million for The Force Awakens. So Black Panther is on pace, just kicking these films butts. And so if Black, if Star Wars, the no, if Jurassic World made 
six hundred and fifty million. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, I thought I lost it again. If Jurassic World made six hundred and fifty-two million dollars uh, domestically at, at the end of its theatrical run, and right now Black Panther is well ahead of that by, let's see here, a good twenty-one million dollars. You know, I'm confident in saying that Black Panther will at least make six seventy-five. Now, nah, screw that. It may even make seven hundred million dollars. Uh, domestically, which is great uh, because that will also help. Oh, that gives me another opportunity to bring up another chart that I'm going to bring up. Yes, I'm glad I remembered. Yes, because I would have cut off the video and been upset if I forgot. How, how long we at? 27 minutes. That's OK. Y'all don't mind me talking because uh, right now, Black Panther is at 633 uh, domestically and Jurassic World at this time on its 39th day of release was at 612. Okay, so, I mean, yeah, this film is going to pass Jurassic World domestically because there are, we don't, Black Panther really doesn't have any true competition until Avengers Infinity War. I mean, we thought Wrinkle in Time was going to knock it off, it didn't. We thought Tomb Raider was going to knock it off, it didn't. I mean, it was just kind of common sense that Pacific Rim was going to knock it off. I mean, you can't stay number one forever, even though Pacific Rim did underperform. And also, guys, this is very important. I'm not... Of course, I'm not hating on Black Panther, but you have to be realistic, too. One of the main I mean, the film is great, uh, high anticipation. But one of the another main reason why it's doing so well. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Another reason why it's doing so well is because there's just been no competition for this film. So, you know, if this film was released in May and or July or June or something like that, it probably wouldn't have done as well. Uh, but and I ima imagine what if Black Panther was flawless you know what I'm saying like what if people was coming out of Black Panther talking about it's the best MCU ever mo movie ever only one person like a, a reaction said that when um, when the reactions came out after the premiere and when I originally reviewed Black Panther I gave it a 9.25 and then when I did my spoiler review with Malcolm and Malcolm is coming back I need to call him but Malcolm uh, is coming back. When I did my spoiler review with Malcolm, I lowered it to nine point. I mean nine, uh, nine flat, nine point zero. But now, uh, it, weeks after this, and I've seen it multiple times, I'm going to lower it again to eight point five. That is not. I'm not crapping on the film. The film is fantastic. I love the film. I'm going to be blind, buying it on Blu-ray and all that. I may go see it again in theaters, IMAX. But because I love the film so much and it relates to me. You know, I'm going to be more critical of it. And, uh, you know, the CGI, just uh, my complaint from earlier uh, when I reviewed the film, the CGI was bad. The Black Panther action in Civil War was much better than the Black Panther action in Black Panther. So I got to take off for that. There was a plot issue, too, with uh, Killmonger's uh, case. If you haven't seen Black Panther, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm going to spoil it for you. There was no point of him allowing Claw to um, steal the vibranium at the museum and allow him to go to the casino. If you were going to kill Claw to get into Wakanda, you should have just did that from the beginning. And also, I didn't like the uh, the CIA thing at the end where you're, you know, the CIA. Why? This is you bringing the CIA into Wakanda. That's just stupid. But I'm not going to give a, a, a part three review of that. But Black Panther is going to make uh, it's going to make seven hundred million. Uh, domestic well I wanted to make 700 million I'm gonna say it's gonna make 675 but you know but we'll see we'll see we shall see uh last thing or is it the last thing do I wanna and mind you a good comparison what, I, what I'm so great about comparing this to Iron Man 3 is both films cost 200 million dollars um so that's you know, even a better comparison right there. So let me do something here on the left side. I got this thing called all time. I'm clicking the all time domestic. All right, man, hold up all time domestic for Black Panther. Of course, Star Wars, The Force Awakens, nine hundred and thirty six million dollars. Avatar, seven hundred and sixty million. 
Jurassic World, 650, no, Titanic, I'm, excuse me. Titanic is 659 million. Jurassic World is 652 million. And Black Panther is knocking at the door. It's $633 million. Number five. World, not worldwide, number five all time for domestic gross, man. That is what's up, man. Hold up. That is, yes, I'm, I'm just so happy. It is going to pass Jurassic World. I believe it is going to pass Titanic. It is not and, and it's not going to catch our avatar, but it's going to end up for, for the time being for just a little bit because uh, Infinity War, if it's as good as we wanted to, is going to do better than that. But Black Panther, man, number five right now. Now, let me do something else. Um, y'all yeah, saw me do a little dance right there. Let me go to Injustice for Inflation. Ain't nobody catching Gone with the Wind. Um, yeah, that's just not happening. 1939. So, and this is still something to be proud of. Domestic gross for all time adjusted ticket price for inflation, meaning that either they're counting all these as what the price ticket would be today or what they were decades and decades and decades and decades ago. But they're just doing this to where if all ticket prices were the same, if it didn't increase over time. Or you can look at this as like how many tickets were sold. Of course, gone with the wind. Um, is number one and then you got Star Wars number two but Black Panther is number 40 that's still amazing guys out of it, the the amount of movies is in the thousands of tens and tens and tens of thousands of movies and Black Panther right now is at number 40 ranging all the way back to 1937 it's number 40 it could even be dated back to that because snow white and the seven drawers was direct uh this that's a number 10 that's uh 1937 as well so i'm not finna i'll go with the wind was 1939 so it could even go back before that but number 40 of all time man that's what's up what what's that number 30 uh number 38 is spider-man and it's 637 million and independence day is 635 black panthers at 633 black panthers going to surpass all those so if it gets to 675, it could pay, get up to uh, 30s or whatever. But we're, we're going to see. And let me just look at something that's real quick. All time worldwide, baby. All time worldwide. Black Panther is at number 12. Avatar number one. Titanic number two. Star Wars The Force Awakens number three. Jurassic World 1.6 billion at number four. Marvel's The Avengers at number five. Fast and Furious 7 at number six. Avengers Age of Ultron, number seven. Harry Potter, Death of Hollows, part two, number eight. Star Wars, The Last Jedi, number nine. Frozen, number 10. Beauty and the Beast, number 11. Black Panther, number 12. So, Black Panther could easily, 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 easily. It is. It's going to be top 10. It's going to be number 10. Damn. It's going to be number 10 up in because it's going to pass Beauty and the Beast and Frozen. But then when Infinity War comes out, it's going to knock it out number 10. I don't think Black Panther is going to beat Star Wars The Last Jedi at $1.3 billion. I just don't think it can. Well, can it? Let me do some little math real quick. Little math. I don't know how long. How long? It's a 35-minute video. Y'all don't, don't care, do you? Uh, do I want to do math? Let's do math already. So, God, I'm not going to do no math if I can't find a god darn cursor. I think the battery is low in my mouse. I think that's what it is. Oh, okay, here we go. So, oh, shoot. Okay. 1.32 minus Black Panther. One, two. Man, I'm not even typing the dang things in there. Minus one. Oh, Lord. One, two, four, one, oh, five, eight, three, one, two. So right now it's only $91 million. 
worldwide from catching um, Les Out. If it's only $91 million, I think it has a chance. It's going to hit $1.3 billion. So that's dope. That's good. It's going to hit $1.3 billion worldwide. It's only $59 million away. But will it make $91 million? Ashley, guys, I got a few questions for you. This is the end of my Black Panther box office week six. I'm so happy. Uh, best superhero film of all time domestically, 600 million internationally, 1.24, 1.24 billion dollars worldwide, surpassing Captain America Civil War and passing uh, Iron Man 3. Questions for you in the comments section and please subscribe. Will Black Panther reach $700 million domestically? Will it make $1.3 billion worldwide? And do you think it will dethrone Star Wars The Last Jedi number nine box office worldwide or whatever? Um, do you think that? Any other questions? Um, and also, what do you think it will make? Uh, no, yeah, yeah. It's going to, man, it's, screw that, man. It's going to surpass that. I, I'm, it's going to be Star Wars the Last Jedi. It's going to do that. So tell me what you think that, uh, you, you can still put that if you want to. Tell me if you think it's going to make $700 million domestically. Uh, tell me where you think it's going to end up worldwide. It's just total. And also, um, tell me, um, If it's going to make $700 million domestically, tell me where you think it's going to end up uh, worldwide. And just tell me also, like, where, uh, what do you think the exact number is going to be? Uh, you know, I will give you all the prize, but I ain't there yet. We're going to, we'll, we'll get up to that. But guys, I thank you so much for tuning in to my episode of Just My Opinion for the Black Panther Week 6. I really do appreciate it. What did you think about my breakdown, my analysis? Was it too short? Was it too long? Did I give enough information? Did I not? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh, go to my website check me out there at book market I, I ain't putting a review up there in a while so you don't have to go uh, look me up on social media facebook instagram and twitter it's right there at the bottom of your screen and i made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to this episode of just my pen for black panther week six baby and before you go don't forget that my name is brennan keith avery i cannot wait until infinity war and that's just my opinion peace